What's up guys? It is I, once again, Mr. Gamer 990 and today guys, I want to talk about and review a game which took me a long while to complete that game being from Software's Bloodborne Now Bloodborne, if you don't know, is a new IP by From Software who made a lot of games in the past that include Ninja Blade, Autogy, one of my favorite fantasy hack and slash games of all time, exclusive on the Xbox original. They also made uh, Kingsfield, the Kingsfield series, which I have not played, and they also made like Armored Core and their most renowned franchise in their work, which is the Souls games. The Souls games is what got me into Bloodborne Born and got me anticipating Bloodborne, which is among the three most anticipated game on my list, including The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt and Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain. But this review is on Bloodborne. Now, the basic story of Bloodborne it tells the tale of the hunter, your character, a woman or man, who goes to Yarnum in search of a of a cure, and Yarnum is a city where it's the place known as the city of uh, medicine and all form of medical uh, equipment, all that kind of stuff, you know, basically where you can uh, heal yourself and find uh, a solution and cure to this disease your character is infected by, and the whole of Yarnum is filled with the hunters in search of the cure, and hunters who are out stalking the, these creatures known as beasts. Your character, the hunter, goes to find the cure, and he, at the beginning you find your character who where he or she is uh, in a table and, uh, and right in front of you is this old man bound to a wheelchair, a blind old man who tells you something about the plot and how you must go out to the night and hunt non-stop, find a cure for yourself and once you hunt the beast your journey will come to an end. And the plot uh, to uh, Bloodborne isn't so complex because, once again, like the Souls games and some of the From Software's other games, the plot isn't the main focus of the game. From Software excels mostly at gameplay, and uh, Bloodborne has a lot of uh, gameplay in it, much like the Souls games. Now, the plot is there, it's very much relevant to the story, but uh, you have to try to piece together the plot if you're interested in learning more about the lore, the uh, characters in the game, the, the non-playable non characters, NPCs, and if you want to figure out more about what the plot and the story is about and learn more about the lore behind Yarnem, the characters within Yarnem, and uh, the mystery behind the old man bound to a wheelchair and the doll that sits right in this place called the Hunter's, the, the Hunter's Dream, which is the, the, which is the hub area for your character, the Hunter, to level up, buy equipment and all kind of stuff you need to go on to the hunt and find the cure you need to cure yourself of this disease you're infected with. And uh, that's the plot to Bloodborne. Now guys, Bloodborne is a uh, PS4 exclusive. I'm not going to talk about the gameplay so much because it will just make this video a lot longer. And trust me guys, there's a lot more like video analysis out there by other game reviewers who can go into detail about the, pl the gameplay, the mechanics, the uh, aspects of the game, the, the kind of things you can do, and all the weapons, all the armors, not armors but these leather clothing you have in the game which is actually a new addition to uh, Bloodborne as opposed to Souls games but I'll talk basically about what I like about this game Bloodborne and what I don't like now guys Bloodborne is not perfect. It is not perfect by any means. It has a lot of flaws, but I still love and enjoy this game very much. It's one of the, the uh, best games I've played from this year so far. I love the game very much. It did not disappoint at all. It did not. But this game has... I don't know. There's something about this game which I don't really... I mean, I love the game, guys. I love it. I think it's great. But after the game was over and I killed the final boss, which is an action epic fight, I was like, that's it? 
Okay, I guess. I mean, guys, I didn't have that same feeling of uh, adrenaline rush that I had when I was playing games like Mass Effect, Dragon Age, um, uh, what other games? Uh, The Witcher 2, Assassins of Kings. I didn't have that same effect like I had playing those games, or even with the, the other Souls games. Guys, the other Souls games, I had so much fun playing those games, and by the end, I was like, Woohoo! Yeah, baby! But, once again, this game, Bloodborne, is not perfect by any means, but it is still a very good game I love. Now, this game, it has uh, a lot of NPCs you might, uh, you might actually like and find interesting. One of the NPCs I actually like the most is actually, well, two. Now, the first NPC is this, this doll called the doll. This doll is the... Uh, the character you talk to to level you up uh, and to try to give you more insight into the lore of Darks, uh, sorry, I mean, the lore of Bloodborne and uh, your journey as the hunter. And uh, this doll is actually created by someone in the game who I will not say. And you also have like my other favorite character in the game. Who, I forgot her name, I think her name is Ariana. Uh, not Ariana, I'm not sure, but this character is, uh, is basically a prostitute who's pregnant with a demon child. It's such a deep story, and actually I like this character a lot. And the, the fact that this character has a lot of uh, things going on with her and that baby, and what you do for her, is just so insane, guys. I will say no more, but trust me, this game, if you like it or not, it will keep you engaged, guys. You will never get bored playing this game. It has a lot of things going on, a lot of, like, what the fuck moments, and trust me, this game is just creepy as hell. This game, Bloodborne, throughout has that sense of horror and that sense of dread. It's so creepy, so bizarre almost, because guys, the things that happen in this game is just out of this world. I was really creeped out by it. And uh, this game works as both an action-adventure RPG game and as a horror game. And this game really does take us back to the feeling we had playing Demon Souls and uh, Dark Souls. Before Dark Souls 2, of course. And even though I love Dark Souls 2, it is still the most flawed game in the Souls franchise. And this game, Bloodborne, it has all the things you like in Blood Dark Souls, but, but in a different setting, a different uh, character character creation, or you know, weapons, and armors, all that kind of stuff, items, everything's different. Guys, the reason why I love Bloodborne in the end is because it got me so hooked on the story, the action, the RPG elements, everything about this game, the horror, the action, the characters, the uh, your, your journey as the hunter, everything about this game is just so fascinating. And the beasts, guys, the beasts you find in this game, they are motherfuckers, trust me guys. I have never fought such enemies like these. And I heard that the some complaints about the uh, the uh, lichens in uh, the Order 1886, but guys, people who played that game, played this game, I heard that the lichens, the werewolves or beasts in this game are a lot creepier than those in the Order. I have yet to play the Order, I'm gonna play it at some point, but this game is so awesome guys, it's not perfect, it has a lot of flaws to it, I still love it. But I recommend you play this game. I'm giving this game a 9.1 out of 10 stars. 9.1 out of 10 stars. It's not perfect by any means, but it's still a game you have to play. And uh, that's my review to Bloodborne from Software's Bloodborne. So far this year, it is one of my favorite games i played thus far. And I can't wait to play The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt and Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain. And oh my fucking god, those games are gonna rock my world, guys. Bloodborne was great. I love it. It's, it's a very good addition to... Uh, from software's work. Until then guys, thank you for watching my review on Bloodborne. If you like my review, give it a thumbs up. Until next time, peace out, take care. Adios amigos, au revoir, and sayonara.